this time for this experiment again we will have the Peltier device but this time in this experiment lab 11 we will set the temperature to desired temperature and we build a VI in lab view so that VI will increase the temp the current that supplied by power supply to Peltier device to the point that the desired temperature is approached is achieved so we put the temperature in desired temperature which is below the room room temperature and the power the our VI our program we will automate the process of increasing and controlling the temperature and comparing with desired temperature so we have we achieve that desired temperature by increasing the current uh, provided to the Peltier device through power supply and then by increasing the current we getting closer and closer to desired temperature and at the end eventually the program can stop stop automatically so the circuit it's exactly what we had in experiment 10 the only difference in, in the VI and how we do the VI again if you like I will explain it to you again this is the, our Peltier device this is our Peltier device this is come from channel one of power supply these is the provided the fan to build your devices come from channel one of built here channel two of built here device uh, channel two of power supply this is our circuit which is very simple thermistor in series with 10 kilo ohm resistor this is this is the negative this is the ground this is the positive come from channel 3 of power supply and these two are measured the voltage drop across the thermistor these two come from voltime voltmeter again on the device on power supply and current supply and power supply and uh, multimeter this is the channel 1 it will provide the voltage to Peltier device this is channel 2 provide the voltage to the fan of Peltier device this is channel 3 to provide the voltage uh, the, uh, the power to the, our circuit 5 volt and this is the, our this is our multimeter this is our multimeter this is the positive this is negative to uh, measure the voltage drop across the thermistor so then it can compute the temperature that uh, thermistor is sensing now let's go and build our vi again as you can see here we gonna go to build a vi of lab 11 which is building the VI that control the Peltier device to reach the desired temperature. Again, you're going to have the front panel. Front panel, you're going to have two fields. Field for power supply, controlling the power supply, field for defining the multimeter. This here, you set the temperature to desired temperature. Let's say here, I want to, Peltier device went down, goes down up to, uh, until to down to 5 degrees Celsius the resistor is 10 kilo ohm and uh, then after this here again I have the current that's provided to power supply uh, to provided by power supply to help your device the temperature is sensing by uh, thermistor and here is my block diagram my block diagram this time is kind of special because I want to define the while loop this while loop this time the while loop goes until I have I reach to my desired temperature so as long as my temperature is above 
the five degrees Celsius, this while loop will repeat itself again and again and again. And it will, until it's met the con condition. This is the how I measure it, how I put it. I loop condition, it's continue until it's met the condition. So, as you can see here, the outer loop is while loop this time. It's not for loop. This is the first thing about it. And again, the, everything else is the, the same. You define the power supply, you initiate your device, you're setting up the channel uh, two of your power supply, provide 12 volt for belt here, device fan, channel three, provide the five volt, but channel one, it's you provide the constant current to the Peltier device as I as we did before. We here the set temperature what we set in the front panel here five degrees Celsius and uh, here is the resistance that we have which is ten kilo ohm. We defined it already. Now we have the in second in the first frame we define what we define the in the first frame so First frame, we measuring the voltage drop across the thermistor. We're waiting for five seconds. Then we go to frame one. We take count. We convert this to the temperature. We pass it out to the next frame. The next frame, what we do is to compare this temperature with our desired temperature as you can see here we compare it and if it is more than 0.1 degree celsius we continue the loop and we enter the if it's true if it's true as you can see here it goes to this frame if, if it's true then we set actually we increase the current provided by a power supply each time we increase the current by 0.1 amp we start from 1 amp and we wait for 20 seconds until it's cooled down and we may we set the power supply we set the uh, power supply as you can see here we put the current uh, and here this is the channel and now we set the channel with the power supply which power supply should work on it and again we turn on as you can see here OVP so it can the power supply will act as constant current supplier to you and you can change the current based on this so again we have while loop and three sequence and first sequence we measure the voltage drop across the thermistor then we change we convert it to temperature based on the formula that is provided in lab manual then and it is the characteristic of thermistor is provided in the thermistor data sheet and I put it for you on lab manual and third sequence sequence which is here we compare the temperature with what it is and it if it is the less the temperature is greater than what we have it, if it is the greater than what we define 0.1 the difference then we increase the current by 0.1 amp we start from 1 amp and we wait 20 seconds until the device cool down and we again we repeat it and we measure the current and this is, if it is false the loop will uh, broke and the program will stop automatically. Now we start 
to running the, our program. Here's how the process is automated. The current is increasing from 1 to 1.1, then 1.2, now it's 1.3. And as you can see there in the graph, the temperature is decreasing. We start from 26, around 26. Now it's for 1.2 amps at 20. Now it goes down to 18. We, we're gonna go down to 12. Here is how everything works together. As you can see here, 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 we start with 1 amp, the temperature was 26, by increasing to 1.2, we went down to 20, now we are 13, and the current as you can see is 1.7. And we, the desired temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. So we will see how the program will work and how it's going to stop after it reaches the 12 degrees Celsius.
when the temperature is a little bit above, above uh, 12 degrees Celsius, we expect by increasing the temperature, the current to 2.1, the temperature goes below that 12 degrees Celsius, we can see. Now, you can see, by reaching the 12, the temperature the program stopped, and there is no more increase in the current. So, we reach the desired temperature successfully.